In my opinion, when using a Pixel device, the Google Camera app is by far the best in photo quality. Prior to purchasing a Pixel device, I've used Open Camera for its decent quality, considerable amount of manual configuration options, and the fact it's also completely open source and very trusted. But overall, the Google Camera app, which is sort of exclusive to certain phones, just has better quality and some cool features like Night Sight, so it is the uh, camera app that I ended up going with. Uh, the thing is, if you're using an operating system like Graphene OS, which I am, or something like Lineage without Google services or any other phone without Google services on it, then Google Camera will just tell you to install Google services and won't actually work. In the case of Graphene OS, uh, the pre-installed camera app does seem to compare to the Google Camera app in ideal conditions. However, it still lacks some tools like Night Sight. Uh, for comparison, all these photos were taken at the same time. The only difference is the first one was taken with the graphene pre-installed camera that does not have night sight and the other ones were taken with night sight. As you can see, it's a it's a pretty big difference and a pretty cool feature. Um, some people get around Google services by going with a halfway route and installing Micro G, which is basically an open source, a little bit more privacy conscious set of software that handles the communication instead of the standard Google services. However, um, I found a little gem that'll actually allow you to get around that. On the F-Droid store, there's an app called Gcam Services Provider, which, as the name implies, just pretends to be Google Services, at least enough to trick the Google Camera app into thinking that Google Services is installed. All you need to do is install it, and it will allow Google Camera to work just as if you had Google Services actually working. It sounds good to be true, but it is really just that simple. While searching for answers to that on the internet, I kept getting told that in order to run Google Camera, I would have to either install Micro-G or Google Services, and I really didn't think uh, Night Sight was a good enough trade-off to install some form of Google services, but this completely gets around that and makes it super easy. Obviously, uh, this only applies in a very specific set of circumstances, and I apologize if you are subscribed to me on one of the platforms that I'm putting this on, and you watched through it and had no use for this information, but if you were searching it out, which I couldn't seem to find when I was trying to search this out, I really hope it helps you, and thanks for watching.